Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. With this video in TypeScript, we are going to talk about that. What do you mean by arrow function? <laughs> right? Slightly confusing topic. A lot of people, they get confused that whenever we create or we see any kind of arrow function. So I'm talking about the arrow means this one. This is also called a fat arrow. A fat arrow function also, we can say that. So this is a normal arrow. But when you write equal to and then this sign, this is called a fat arrow. In other languages, you can say a lambda function also. We can say that just like in Python, we call it lambda function. Okay. In Java, we use it normal arrow with the streams and everything. Okay. So what do you mean by arrow function? See, arrow function is also another kind of anonymous function. Okay. Remember, anonymous function, a function without any name. Remember this thing. And what exactly we have seen that in the last chapter, we created number of functions here. So for example, let's see if you see this, this is a function with the name that we have created. This is another function that we have created with the name and returning nothing from here. But we have created some anonymous function also, a function which has no name. See, I'm just writing the function key, but without any name, but I'm assigning it to a variable here. And with the help of variable, I'm calling it. So let's see. I'm using converting this into an arrow function here like that. So how will you write it? So see this carefully. So whatever the function key that you have written, first of all, you remove this function key from here and then you come after these two parentheses and then simply write an arrow here. That's it. So this will become what? This will become an arrow function here. As simple as that. Right. But can I write arrow function with some name? So for example, let's see, we created some function here and uh, this is a function that we created for example let's see get info function that i have created and i'll do one thing here that i'll write get info remove this function key from here and after this putting this particular arrow no so this is giving me the error here that cannot find get info or something like this here right but can i write something here like this yes so this is also fine so this is what a simple arrow function that I have created and this arrow function that we have created and assign it to this particular info variable here. And this is something that console.log, this is also kind of arrow function, but it is always a good practice that these are kind of anonymous functions. So you have to store it in some variable, right? Just like we did it over here. Okay. Now, can I, is it mandatory to write these two uh, curly braces, a starting bracket and ending bracket? No, it is not mandatory. If you really want to write, let's see one print function that I'm going to write, which is lambda, which is, or you can say arrow, which is equal to, and then I'm writing that, okay, fine, that console.log, and then you print hello TypeScript here, or let's see hello world here. So you can write it like this also. So print is equal to this and uh, or instead of print, maybe print is already existing keyword. So let's see, I'm writing print info, something like this. So you can write it also like this. And uh, you don't need to write curly braces here. But it's always good practice that you write curly braces so that it's more readable. But let's see if I really want to call the info function now. I can call the info function here. And I really want to call the print info function. So I can call the print function here also like this. So these are not the function names. You can say these functions are assigned to these variables. And now with the variable name, we can call it here. So let's quickly compile it. So I'm just compiling this uh, arrow function dot ts file. And uh, after that, I'm going to uh, run it here. So again, I'm writing that arrow function dot uh, js. And now you see that hello ts and hello world getting printed on the console because of these two methods. Perfect. Can we supply the parameters to the arrow functions? Yes, of course you can do that. So for example, let's see, again, I'm writing a function and let's see variable name is add, which is equal to no need to write any function keyword, no name, simple write these two brackets. And then this function says that you give me two parameters. For example, give me X, which is a type of number and Y, which is again a type of data type is number and then arrow starting bracket and ending bracket here like this and then you do something let's say i'm saying that i'm going to return x plus y from this function so what will be the return type x plus y will be a number so can we define the return type here yes we can define that colon number here that's it i really want to call it so simple call it by using the variable name and i'm supplying let's say 10 comma 20 here so if i'm giving 10 comma 20 this will give you 30 
and then I can store it in some other variable or I can directly print also. Let's see, I'm calling this method and then printing it directly on the console. So let's quickly run it once again. First compile it and then run it. So here you can say 30 is coming here. So you can pass any parameter and uh, you can return whatever you want to return. Rest of the things will remain same. The return type, you have to write it here. The only thing is don't need to write any function key as a keyword and no need to write any function name also here. Perfect. So like this also, we can do it here. If you really want to write this entire expression in one single line, that also we can write it. See if I'm writing let sum which is equal to and then I'm writing once again, let's see these two uh, variables up to number. Let's see I'm writing it here. And then see I'm writing in the simple number and then I'm writing this and then I'm writing that return whatever x plus y you have to return from here. So like this also you can use it here. So what we can do, let me just uh, comment it out this one. And uh, let sum is equal to x number, return type will be a number. And then you need to write return here, you simply write x plus y, that also we can write it here. So let me just uncomment and then here. So you don't need to write any return keyword here. Whenever you write return, then you have to write the braces here like this. Okay, so if I call this sum function once again, and I'm passing, let's see this time 40 comma 50, so it should give me 90. And then I'm going to print it directly on the console. Or you can store it in variable and that variable also you can print it. So I'm passing 40 comma 50 and uh, let's run it again. First compile it and uh, run it. So here you can say 90 we are getting. So remember, don't write a return keyword here otherwise it will ask you that okay expected curly braces just like we did it here so it's up to you in which format that you are comfortable if you are comfortable with this always go with this one but you can write it like this also here perfect now can we uh, use it with the classes although class concept the way we are using in the javascript here also we can use it in the typescript so for example, let's say I'm going to cre create one class. Let's see the class name is a, uh, the person class. And here I'm going to create two variables that let's see the variable is the first name of the person. And the first name of the person will be, let's see a string type. So here I'm writing that will be the string type. And then I'm writing, let's see age also that will be a number type. So this is what that I have created here like this and uh, put a semicolon. This is not the object. So we have to write semicolon here and then I'm going to create a constructor also. So same key I'm using constructor key and uh, we have to do what we have to assign first name and age. So here I'm writing that. Okay, whatever the first name. Okay, that will be a string type and again age again will be a number type. I'm going to create a constructor. And this first name is the local variable of the constructor. I have to assign it with this first name, right? I mean, this first name I have to be assigned with the first name. It means instance variable or class variable. I have to assign it with the constructor variable. So which keyword we have to use here? Same thing, this keyword we have to use. So this dot first name is equal to first name. And then I'm writing this dot age is equal to age here like that. So let's see, this is the constructor that I have created here. And then I'm going to create a function also. So let's see a function name. I'm going to create a display, which is equal to one arrow function that I'm going to write that arrow. And then I'll say that you have to print what first name and the age. So here I'm writing that this keyword and X is the class properties. So here I'm writing, let's see first name. And then I'm putting some space and concatenated with this dot age also like this. So display is the function that I have created. Now what exactly I'm going to do that? I'm going to create the object of the person class. So let's create that. So let's see one uh, P which is equal to new person class object that I'm going to create. And when I create the object, I have to supply because there is one constructor. I have to supply the first name and the age here. So for example, let's see first name is Tom and age is 30 here like this. So this is, let's see, a variable that we have created. Sorry, I have to create this variable out of the class here. So this is the object that I have created and uh, object references P here. Now with this P, 
can i call display method yes of course i can call it because display uh, method is like an anonymous function which is represented by display variable right and uh, you can just use it here and that's it or you can create nice name also let display also if you really want to give you can give it but remember this thing see it's giving me the error here it says that unexpected token a constructor method access or property was expected here so that's what you have to write without let here okay but if you're writing without class name then you can write let here so simple write display or whatever the method name that you really want to write so let's see i'm writing display person that also you can write it but remember the moment you write any let or any variable or any constant that if you are defining it it will give you error so don't give any let constant or where keyword simple say let's see display person or display name that we have given here and now you just simple call it display function here with the p here okay because within the class we are using it and a p dot display will do what first it will create the object tom and 30 will be given to the constructor same constructor with the help of this keyword it will assign first name and age and then we are using this dot first name this dot age so tom and 30 should be printed on the console perfect so let's run it you can say tom and 30 here <clears throat> right so this is just a concept of yes arrow function i can use it with the you know whatever for the purpose it's up to you I'm, here i'm using it just to print the first name and age the person properties i'm printing it here with parameters without parameters you can return anything from the function you can do that as well but remember the function arrow function is always a anonymous function without name perfect i hope this is clear so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you